Hello everybody, welcome back to Angie's Diamond Painting Adventures. How are you all doing today? If you are stopping by for the first time, hello, my name is Angie and welcome to my adventures. If you are coming back to spend a little bit of time with me, thank you so much for coming back. I really do appreciate it. So, in today's How To Tuesdays, yes, How To Tuesdays, we are going to do step two of converting a double-sided adhesive to a poured glue. Now, in step one, we took the tape off, that is the DSA, double-sided adhesive, we took that off. This week, we are going to lay the glue on the canvas. Yes. So what will we need in today's video? Well, we are going to need our brush. Yep, going to need the brush today. We are going to need the washi tape. Yes, as you can see, I have already started putting the washi tape. No worries, I'm going to show you how I, how I did this. I still have one end or one side that I have not done yet. So you will need to grab whatever washi tape you choose. Of course, you're going to need a pair of scissors so that you can cut the washi tape. Yes. Last but not, not least, the star of the show, you will need the dot stick glue. Yep, there she is, the dot stick glue, so that we can put start putting the glue on this canvas. Now... Before I go any further, I do want to let you know that this will need a minimum of two coats, maximum of three, okay? So we're just going to do the first coat, and then what you need to do is you need to wait 24 hours and then apply the second coat, okay? Once you have done the second coat, go ahead and, you know, do do the, the light finger touch and see how sticky it is. If it is sticky enough for you, that is all you need. If you want it a little bit more sticky, go ahead and put a third coat on it, okay? When we come back next week to How To Tuesdays for the final installment, I will let you know how many coats this took me, and then we're going. I'm just going to show you how to uh, protect the glue once it has been cured. Okay, so you will need up to two day or <clears throat> excuse me, a minimum of two days, maximum of three days to get a full working uh, glue coating on your canvas. Okay. All right, let's go ahead and I'm going to flip this over just a little bit. And we're going to put the washi tape on the bottom edge of this. I did not do the entire um, border because I did want to show you guys that when you are putting the washi tape on, I'm not sure if you can see that, but I'm going to bring it up a little bit. Do you see how I left that white big gap there yeah you want that okay because you want to make sure that that glue go, goes all the way up to the line so that you can put your drills on the glue okay so I did that all the way around I left that little bit of a white gap see that bring it down a little bit see the white gap yes so you want to leave that little bit of a white gap. Yes, I know. I <laughs> I did it. Oops, but that's okay. It's all right. Like I said, this is my test canvas, so I am not worried about it. So you are basically just going to take your washi tape, find the end of it, and put it on the bottom, leaving that small white gap there. And that is it. We are then going to start putting the glue on this canvas. Yes, the exciting part, guys. The exciting part. 
Okay. Before we go putting the glue on it, one thing you will need to do is make sure you shake this very well. Okay. Shake it, tap it, get it all going there. And quite simply, you are going to pour it on, guys. That's it. Just pour it on. We are then going to take the brush. We're going to brush it on. Yep. That is it. We're going to brush it on. Now, you will notice that I'm not going all the way up to the edge yet. I am just getting the coating on here. Then we will get detailed and go into the edges. I just want to get a nice coat going on in here. Yep, yep, yep. Just spreading the glue. Spreading the glue. Alright, now what I'm going to do going to keep going like this. don't know if you can see that on the top there, but just go like that. Now, what I'm going to do <clears throat> is I'm going to take my glue once again, and I'm going to put a border around the entire canvas here. And then we are going to go all the way up to the edge. All right. So I'm going to dab this and just all the way up to the edge. Don't worry about getting it over the washi tape. That is why the washi tape is there, guys. Okay. Don't worry about getting over. Just make sure you're you're getting the edges of your canvas okay I almost stuck my hand in the glue okay all the way up to the edges and put my finger there now uh oh do we have there we go don't know what that was guys <laughs> I don't definitely don't want it on my canvas Okay, all the way up to the edge here. See that? Like that. And then spread. Spread. So once we finish putting this coat of glue on, what I am going to do is I have an empty Rubbermaid tote that does not have a lid and I almost threw it out and I said, no, 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 I can use that. So I'm going to put the empty Rubbermaid tote over this so that we I don't get any fur or foreign objects stuck to my canvas and then about 24 hours from now I will go ahead and put the second coat on and then I will check it to make sure that it is sticky enough for my liking if not I will go ahead and put another coat on and then, like I said, next week, we will come back, or I will be back. Yes, I have my fingernail on the, on there. Um, <clears throat> I will come back in next week for How To Tuesdays, and I will let you all know how many coats it took me to do this 30 by 30. All right, guys. I think I think that's it. Let's see here. Not sure if I got any glue right there in that spot. Yes, you can pick it up and 
check to make sure that you have glue everywhere you need it. I definitely do because my, my brush is sticking to it. So that is it. That is putting the glue on. I will now wait 24 hours for this to cure. I will go ahead and put a second cure, a second coating on. Wait another 24 hours for that coating to cure. <clears throat> Excuse me, my voice. And then, if that is seems to be enough sticky for me, I will stop. If not, I will go ahead and put another coating on. There we have it, guys. There is the first coating of the poured glue. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. And uh, I will see you all again next Tuesday for the final step. And that will be putting at our cover sheets on here so that we don't get anything yucky in the glue. All right, guys. At this point, I will bid you all adieu. But not before I remind you to always do what you love, love what you do, and always stay adventurous. I love you guys. Bye.